The Distinction Between Pleasure and Love Presented by Sachin J. Karnak The distinction between pleasure and love is profound and nuanced, touching upon various dimensions of human experience. Here's an exploration of the differences from psychological, neurological, religious, and spiritual viewpoints. Psychological Perspective Pleasure Pleasure refers to a transient feeling of satisfaction or enjoyment that arises from sensory experiences, such as tasting delicious food, experiencing physical touch, or engaging in pleasurable activities like listening to music or watching a movie. Psychologically, pleasure is often associated with the release of neurotransmitters such as dopamine, which plays a key role in the brain's reward system. Love, love, on the other hand, is a complex and multifaceted emotion characterized by deep affection, care, and attachment towards another person. Unlike pleasure, which is more immediate and focused on gratification, love involves a deeper emotional connection and a sense of commitment. Psychologically, love encompasses elements such as intimacy, passion, and commitment, as described by the triangular theory of love proposed by psychologist Robert Sternberg. Neurological Perspective Pleasure Neurologically, pleasure is associated with the activation of certain brain regions, particularly the mesolimbic pathway, which is involved in the processing of rewards. Activities that elicit pleasure, such as eating tasty food or engaging in sexual activity, trigger the release of neurotransmitters like dopamine in the brain's reward circuitry, leading to feelings of pleasure and satisfaction. Love, love, on the other hand, is associated with a different set of neurological processes. Research suggests that romantic love involves the activation of brain regions associated with reward, attachment, and social bonding, including the ventral tegmental area, VTA, nucleus accumbens, and various regions of the prefrontal cortex. These neural circuits contribute to the experience of romantic attraction, emotional bonding, and long-term attachment in loving relationships. Religious Perspective Pleasure. In many religious traditions, pleasure is viewed neither inherently good nor bad, but rather as a natural aspect of human experience. However, excessive indulgence in pleasure-seeking activities at the expense of spiritual growth or moral values may be discouraged or condemned in some religious teachings. Love. Love holds significant importance in various religious traditions, often revered as a divine or transcendent force that binds individuals together and fosters compassion, empathy, and altruism. Many religious texts and teachings emphasize the importance of love for God, oneself, and others as a central tenet of spiritual life. Love is seen as a transformative and purifying force that leads to spiritual growth and enlightenment. Spiritual Perspective Pleasure. From a spiritual perspective, pleasure is often seen as fleeting and superficial, providing temporary satisfaction, but ultimately failing to fulfill deeper spiritual needs. While enjoying pleasurable experiences is not inherently opposed to spiritual practice, attachment to sensory pleasures and the pursuit of hedonism are viewed as obstacles to spiritual awakening and liberation. Love Love is considered a fundamental aspect of spiritual awakening and the realization of one's true nature. In many spiritual traditions, love is seen as the essence of the divine and the highest expression of human consciousness. Spiritual love transcends individual desires and attachments, encompassing universal compassion, unconditional acceptance, and a deep sense of interconnectedness with all beings. Practicing love and cultivating loving-kindness are central to many spiritual paths as a means of attaining spiritual fulfillment and liberation from suffering. In summary, while pleasure and love may share some common neurological and psychological underpinnings, they represent distinct phenomena with profound implications for human experience, relationships, and spiritual growth. 
Pleasure is associated with immediate gratification and sensory enjoyment, while love involves deeper emotional connections, attachment, and a sense of spiritual interconnectedness. The differences between pleasure and love have been explored through various theories in psychology, philosophy, and neuroscience. Here are some of the key theories and ideas about how pleasure and love differ. 1. Psychological Perspectives Hedonic versus eudaimonic happiness. Pleasure, hedonic happiness, is often linked to immediate gratification and sensory experiences that bring enjoyment. In contrast, love, part of eudaimonic happiness, involves deeper, more enduring relationships and commitments that contribute to one's sense of purpose and well-being. Attachment theory. Love is often associated with attachment styles, secure, anxious, and avoidant, which influence how individuals form and maintain close relationships. Pleasure does not necessarily involve emotional bonding or long-term commitment. 2. Philosophical Distinctions Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics Aristotle differentiated between pleasures that are pursued for their own sake and those that are part of broader, fulfilling activities. Love, in his view, might be considered an activity involving goodwill and the seeking of another's good, inherently more complex than simple pleasures. Platonic versus Romantic Love Philosophy also distinguishes between platonic love, love without sexual or physical desire, and romantic love, which includes desire and passion. Pleasure can be a component of both, but is not sufficient for either type of love. 3. Biological and Neurological Differences Neurochemical Responses Neurologically, pleasure often involves dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with reward and pleasure pathways in the brain. Love, particularly long-term attachment, involves oxytocin and vasopressin, which play roles in bonding and attachment behaviors. Brain regions. Studies using brain imaging show that different areas of the brain are activated by pleasure and by feelings of love. For example, pleasure might activate more sensory-focused areas, whereas love activates regions associated with bonding and complex emotions. 4. Temporal and Motivational Aspects Duration and stability. Pleasure is typically fleeting and can be momentary, often dependent on specific stimuli. Love is characterized by persistence, depth, and emotional investment that endures through varying circumstances. Self-oriented versus other-oriented. Pleasure is generally self-oriented, focused on personal gratification. Love is often other-oriented, involving deep concern for the well-being of another, often at personal costs or sacrifices. 5. Evolutionary Views Survival and Reproduction From an evolutionary perspective, pleasure can be seen as a mechanism that encourages behaviors beneficial to survival, like eating and mating. Love, particularly parental and romantic, strengthens bonds that support mutual support and the raising of offspring. Each of these theories contributes to understanding the complex nature of pleasure and love, highlighting their distinct roles in human experience and behavior. Please visit www.angelwing.com for more information.